Good evening and thank you for joining us for TKO8 Local News. Security was extra tight when 18-year-old Ian Santiago made an appearance Thursday morning in Carroll County Circuit Court in the capital murder arson case against him. Santiago faces the capital murder charge for the beating and stabbing death of his autistic older brother in late January at the Grandview Community northwest of Berryville. Santiago was whisked into the courtroom before Judge Scott Jackson while all other Carroll County jail inmates were out of the room. Public defender Richard Allen asked Judge Jackson for a continuance of the case saying that he needed the extra time to consult with Benka, or excuse me, with Santiago due to the new lawyer being appointed. Jackson set Santiago's next appearance for 1 p.m. Monday, August the 14th in Carroll County Circuit Court in Eureka Springs. The lawyers in the case said one item that could come up in the August hearing would be a request for a mental evaluation. Joshua Chambers of Midway, who is charged with raping a 15-year-old female relative, has entered a not guilty plea in front of Judge Gordon Webb. The incident leading to the charges against Chambers was reported to the Baxter County Sheriff's Office on May 10th by the grandfather of the victim. Now, the victim told investigators she was at Walmart with her boyfriend and her boyfriend's grandmother when she received a telephone call from the 38-year-old Chambers asking her to meet with him. The victim said she agreed, and Chambers picked her up at about 5 p.m. at the store. She told investigators that Chambers then drove her to a remote residence she believed to be in the Midway area. She said when they entered the residence, they walked straight to the bedroom located at the very back of the house where Chambers forced himself on her. Chambers admitted arranging the meeting but said that the sexual activity was the victim's idea. As of news time, Chambers remains in the Baxter County Jail with bonds set at $250,000. 24-year-old Caitlin K. Branford of Mountain Home made her first court appearance Thursday on felony court charge, or excuse me, for felony drug charges. Branford, who was wanted on a warrant out of Marion County, was arrested in Bull Shoals after a call came into City Hall advising that she had been seen at the Bull Shoals Lake boat dock. Now, according to the arrest affidavit, an officer from the Bull Shoals Police Department attempted to locate Branford at the boat dock and observed a vehicle with three individuals inside. With the assistance of two other law enforcement officers, a search was conducted of the vehicle where Bradford allegedly told officers there was methamphetamine in the vehicle and it belonged to her. Bradford has been charged with possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of methamphetamine with intent to deliver. She remains in the Marion County Jail in lieu of a $31,000 bond. Filing for school board seats in the 2017 school election began this week, and at least one race has formed. At Alpena, Brittany Bennett, Tricia Cantwell, and Karen Gibney have filed for the seat currently held by board president Roger Grisham, who hasn't filed for re-election as of news time. Derek Keeter filed Thursday for the Bergman board seat held by Jerry Pritchett, and Mark Rice filed for the Lead Hill board seat held by Daryl Campbell. Filing will continue through noon Tuesday, July the 11th, and then the school election is set for Tuesday, September 19th. Well, a proposed ordinance calling for a levy of a 3 8 percent sales and use tax for public safety purposes was approved last night during the regular session of the Mountain Home City Council. The suggested increase will be in the hands of voters in a special election scheduled for September 12th. If approved, the Mountain Home Fire and Police Departments would benefit from the tax. Now, details regarding locations and numbers of precincts will be determined at a later date after city officials meet with the Baxter County Election Commission. Coming up, we're going to take a look at headlines from around the region as TKO8 News continues. The sizzling summer savings are in full swing this week at Edwards Grocery. Check out this week's deals. Best choice boneless, skinless chicken breast or tenders, only $4.99 in the three-pound bag. Select a varieties, country-style ribs, cut from the butt, only $1.69 per pound. Imported green or black seedless grapes, only $1.49 per pound. Folgers Country Roast Coffee, only $5.49. And select a varieties, Blue Bunny Classic Ice Cream, only $4.99 per gallon. People around the country are noticing North Arkansas College as one of the best deals around. North Ark was just named one of the most affordable community colleges in the nation, costing about one-third of what you would pay at a university. This fall, North Ark is offering paid internships to help students earn while they learn. Explore the full list of fall classes at northark.edu and enroll today. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th. For quality, value, and convenience, think North Ark first. We're your college. 
Join Sammy Klein Thursdays and Fridays during the TK08 local newscast for this week's closing livestock market report. Made possible by Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Quality Feed Grains has you covered. Everything for cattle, pets, deer, equine, poultry, seed and spray, show feed, and garden. Check their website, qualityfeedgrains.com, now for this month's special. Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Proud sponsors of the Livestock Report with Sammy Klein on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Ah, sweet Louise, do you dream of Hercules? To be the best dressed boy in town, where you sure are something, the best there ever was. The new Sport Heritage Line. Well, it won't mean nothing, unless you try my life and bring it right to you, Louise. Only from Yamaha. Former Central Arkansas pastor who's accused of being involved with child pornography says investigators violated his rights. Attorneys for David Glenn Reynolds argue that police shouldn't have questioned Reynolds about his social media use before reading him his rights in March of 2016. Police say they searched Reynolds' home after his internet service account was linked to two Twitter accounts and posted illegal images. Investigators later found his phone but had, and had been in contact with the accounts. Now, the defense says police didn't have the right to search the phone's contents. And Reynolds was arrested May 2016 and faces 30 counts of possessing, distributing, or viewing child pornography. Pulaski County Circuit Judge Herb Wright says he'll review the matter after attorneys on both sides submit written agreements. Jonesboro police arrested a felon accused of putting a knife to two children. The Arkansas State Police Crimes Against Children Division interviewed a six- and eight-year-old about an alleged assault. A probable cause affidavit states that children told investigators that Gilbert Garcia put a knife in the car, excuse me, a knife in the ear of the six-year-old and then told police he also stuck the knife between the toes of the eight-year-old victim. The children also told police Garcia kept a gun in his room and has pointed it at them. Garcia, who lives with the children's mother and her boyfriend was arrested for felony aggravated assault and possession of a firearm by certain persons. He is being held on a $20,000 bond. Governor Asa Hutchinson has announced the, the creation of a multi-agency partnership to combat violence in Little Rock just days after a nightclub shooting left 28 people injured. Hutchinson says the group will be made up of very, various agencies, including the Little Rock Police Department, the FBI, and Arkansas State Police. The members of the group will share information about violent crime and increase policing throughout the city. The task force also wants to intensify the enforcement of alcoholic beverage laws at establishments throughout the city. The nightclub shooting happened during a rap concert inside the Power Ultra Lounge early Saturday. Police say no suspects have been arrested yet but that the investigation is ongoing. A Christian-themed movie studio has donated $25,000 towards replacing the Ten Commandments monument outside the Arkansas State Capitol that was destroyed last month. Pure Flix Entertainment donated the funds Thursday toward the monument, which was destroyed by a man who smashed his vehicle into the granite display less than 24 hours after it was installed on the Capitol's grounds. Pure Flix is the production studio for the movie God's Not Dead and its sequel, which was filmed in Little Rock in 2015. Republican Senator Jason Rappert says more than $54,000 has been raised since the monument was destroyed to help replace it. Rappert had sponsored the 2015 law that required Arkansas to allow the privately funded monument near the Capitol. The University, <clears throat> excuse me. The University of Arkansas says it doesn't plan on selling alcohol at intercollegiate sporting events despite new state-issued alcohol permits. Large attendance facility permits were approved last month for Levy Premium Food Service, which is a new concession vendor for the university. But university spokesman Kevin Trainer has said the school has no current plans to sell alcohol at three of its sporting venues. He noted that the Southeastern Conference forbids alcohol sales in general seating and public areas of on-campus sporting venues at schools in the conference. Hey, before we get to your weather forecast, let's see how the stock market did today. See you in just a few. A 
Well, we've got lots of weather. It's summertime weather, so that means it's going to be hot and it's going to be sunny. And that's about it. But let's go ahead and do the official breakdown. Here we go. All right, we're looking at sunshine and high temps. Looking at about 89 for your high. Uh, and we'll look, okay, we'll just, we'll call it like this. Upper 80s, low 90s during the day. Upper 60s, low 70s at night. Ta-da! There's the weather for the next week. No need to go too intricate and take up three minutes of the broadcast day or your time. Just get ready to have some fun. Grab lots of sunscreen, lots of fluids, light, low, light colored clothing, and loose fitting too, kids. And stay safe and have a fun summer. We're going to come back in just a moment and take a look at sports on TKO8. Becoming a clinical medical assistant offers a quick transition from college to career. This fall, North Arc is offering a clinical medical assistant course to prepare you for the job in doctor's offices or health clinics. Clinical medical assisting is included in the Arkansas Future Scholarship, available for qualified applicants. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th. For quality, value, and convenience, think North Arc first. We're your college. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. Are you trying to get out and take in these beautiful days, but find that you end up sneezing, itching, and getting all sorts of bites or rashes? Don't let outdoor allergies, bugs, or poisonous plants keep you from enjoying all that the Ozarks has to offer this season. Stop in at Nature's Wonders and let us show you the products we carry that can help with the challenging parts of nature so that you can enjoy all the wonders. Find us on Highway 65, just down from Thompson's Ace Hardware. Nature's Wonders, the natural living store. The Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison is offering a great reason to wake up on Saturday mornings. Their incredible brunch. Starting at 7 a.m., you can enjoy all of your traditional breakfast favorites or some of these decadent dishes. Eggs Benedict, featuring an English muffin topped with ham, two eggs, made any way you like, and topped with fresh-made hollandaise sauce. Plus, you'll also get your choice of hash browns or home fries. Perhaps something even more delectable. Townhouse Cafe's fabulous U.S. farm-raised butterfly trout grilled with a drizzle of hollandaise sauce, two eggs any way you like, hash browns or home fries, and either a biscuit or toast on the side. Absolutely delicious. Saturday brunch at the Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison. This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting, to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison, harrisonbatteryandtire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. The Sun Belt Conference has announced the student-athlete attendees from each of the conference's 12 football programs in preparation for Sun Belt Conference Football Media Day on Monday, July 24th. Sun Belt Conference Media Day Central will launch next week with a full schedule of the event with links to live coverage on the Sun Belt Digital Network as well as ESPN3. All 12 head coaches will join 24 student athletes to represent their programs at Media Day, and ESPN3 is going to broadcast live from the Mercedes Benz Superdome from 1 until 3, and then we'll sit down with all head coaches in attendance to the Sun Belt Conference Commissioner Carl Benson. It's going to be fun. Have a ball. The Kansas City Chiefs signed veteran linebacker Josh Malga, who missed all of last season with a hip injury, and former Seattle safety Stephen Terrell on Thursday. The Chiefs created a roster space for him by waving punter Will Monday. Namaga served 30 games for the Chiefs in 2014 and 15, but an offseason injury forced him onto the injured reserve list last August. Ramick Wilson wound up starting, starting in his place. Luke Voigt, he homered, drove in three runs, and the St. Louis Cardinals beat the Miami Marlins 4-3 last night. Now, the Cardinals, who had lost two straight, earned a four-game series split after winning the previous two series against the Diamondbacks and the Naturals. Or, excuse me, the Nationals, not the Naturals. 
Kyle Schwarberger, Kyle Schwarber returned to the Chicago Cubs following a two week stint in the minor leagues and started on Thursday's 11 2 loss to the Milwaukee Brewers, where his offensive struggles continued. Schwarber battled fifth and playing in left field, went 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. 24 year old outfielder was hitting 171 with 12 home runs and 28 RBIs in 64 games before being demoted We Dome to AAA Iowa. Hey, Roland Alberg, he scored on a penalty kick in the 69th minute in the Philadelphia Union tied Sporting Kansas City 1-1 Thursday night. Now, Kansas City extended its undefeated run to six game with four draws. So it's much ado about nothing. But what do I know about soccer? nothing at all. But I do know it's the end of the broadcast, and I thank you very much for taking the time to sit through this one. Uh, it means a lot. It really, really does, honestly. So anyway, see you on the social webs and around town and all throughout North Central Arkansas. As your old buddy Jimbo says, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Sometimes the best searches are done without hashtags. Toyota Tundra. Built here, lives here. Right now, qualified buyers get 0% APR for 60 months, plus a $2,000 special edition bonus on a new 2017 special edition Tundra. Toyota, let's go places. The Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison is offering a great reason to wake up on Saturday mornings. Their incredible brunch. Starting at 7 a.m., you can enjoy all of your traditional breakfast favorites or some of these decadent dishes. Eggs Benedict, featuring an English muffin topped with ham, two eggs, made any way you like, and topped with fresh-made hollandaise sauce. Plus, you'll also get your choice of hash browns or home fries. Perhaps something even more delectable. Townhouse Cafe's fabulous U.S. farm-raised butterfly trout grilled with a drizzle of hollandaise sauce, two eggs any way you like, hash browns or home fries, and either a biscuit or toast on the side. Absolutely delicious. Saturday brunch at the Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison. There is a place to escape. I know the place, Jim. Where the TV shows are timeless. The faces are friendly. Friends? Friends. Uh, Welcome to Me TV. Yeah. Home to many of the greatest TV shows of all time, where you can relax and escape back to a simpler time. You mean to tell me that's all there is to it? That's all. Giddy up and stay a while. Watch our westerns, they got style. Ride the range, it's great TV. That's memorable, that's me. Me? Call them classics, call them the best. Call them favorites, be a guest. Every day there's more to come. Watch and see, there's only one. Me TV. That's me, all right. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of a community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. Healthmark pharmacies are locally owned pharmacies. There is one right here. Healthmark pharmacists have a crucial commitment to their community because just like you, they support their community. Healthmark pharmacies are locally owned and hometown proud. Harrison has a Healthmark now. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, on the square in downtown Harrison. Healthmark, caring for you and about you. This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison, HarrisonBatteryandTire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. James MacGyver. Don't tell me you know how to make a bomb out of a stick of chewing gum. Why, you got some? 